2020, August 16th, 7.29 a.m. So you have the French royal court body doubles captured and taken to prison, and they're not allowed to be seen by almost anybody, and they're almost all of them are executed behind closed doors or in very, very small courtyards where only a handful of witnesses can see it. And then, comma, and then Marie, Marie Tussaud is commissioned either do this or die by the same exact people who had killed lots and lots of her, her friends. Create death masks of them and put them and put them on display so that everyone can see for a long period of time the death masks of the king and Marie Marie Antoinette and so on and so forth. Period. She does this, but there is no guarantee that she that that she did, she did the actual death masks. Period. In fact, there's a pretty much of a huge monstrous guarantee that she didn't do the death masks, period. She'd been sketching the royal family for 10, 15, 20 years. And as she sketched them, and she, she had done several masks of them before. They, they had done, the French royal court had been um, made into wax at least two, if not three times before over the course of, of their ages. Every about ten years, they they would get new bot new wax figures to be to be shown off and such to the public. Period. Well, she did that. She did all that work. So when she was there was a blade against her neck, and she was told, "Make these body doubles." Well, she could very easily make whatever face she wanted to. Period. And she had, on hundreds, if not thousands, of occasions, done exactly that. Period. So this is not a newsflash situation. This is a well duh situation. So, but she did do something that was in unusual. Period. She included the evidence that the guillotine was electrified. Period. Now the evidence for the for the electric electrification of the blade is the fact that the amount of people that the, the, the National Razor killed in a day, in a sequence of days, in the sequence of months that, it, that the National Razor was at was working, is far too many to be okay with, period. They had aspects of soap, but nothing to really clean well with. They could, you know, it was mostly it was just washing things down and and such. But there was you know, soap wouldn't be for, around for another several decades to or so. Ivory Ivory Soap Company formed in eighteen seventy one, the eighteen seventies. Period. So you have a huge amount of people being killed with by having their head cut off. And a gallon of blood coming out. Well, if you if you're gonna have that much blood in that small of a, of a space, over eighteen months, you're gonna have disease breakout. Period. Point blank in a story. That's period. New new paragraph. There's no way to avoid the fact that there's, you're gonna have a have disease outbreak with that much blood. They didn't have a period. They didn't have out, disease outbreaks. Period. They didn't have the, a, an outbreak of the plague. Period. Since they didn't have an outbreak of the plague, they didn't have outbreaks of massive disease. What they did have is evidence of cauterization. 